Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Maps. In this video lecture, we are uh, discussing the pigeonhole diagram for P2 configuration. Okay, and then we'll derive the term symbols and for ground state, we'll be doing all these combinations. So, for P2, you know there are uh, two electrons. Okay, let me just use a different color. Okay, but we have two electrons in p2 right so what happens is um, we have three p orbitals okay there can be many combinations we have one electron here one here okay or else we can have uh, one in the first and one in the last okay these are px py and pz right so taking this combination into mind we have uh, suppose the spin is parallel right so for parallel spin we can have these type of combinations so first we'll put two electrons okay these are minus one zero and one um, or px py pz okay like this this one zero one okay whatever you can um, the notations is for the three p orbitals okay so when we have two electrons in the parallel spin that means up spin in, in zero and in one then how do we calculate s okay for one electron the spin is half so there are two electrons okay so half plus half will be equal to one so we have one here okay now for ml to calculate ml what will happen for ml okay the similar procedure we apply for term symbols one into one is one and one into zero is zero so one into one plus 1 into 0 what happens we get 1 so we have 1 here right similarly now what i'll do is i'll put this electron in the minus 1 okay in the second combination what will be the second combination this is the second combination so to calculate ms we have half plus half is 1 okay the spin becomes 1 and ml is 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 into minus 1, 1 into 1, okay, plus 1 into minus 1, right, so we have 0. And then again, for uh, ms in the third combination, okay, this is the third combination which we can have 1 and 1. So basically, what you have is, you have... Uh, three orbitals and you have to arrange the two electrons in different patterns okay how many ways you can arrange these electrons okay they can go in any let us suppose that they have equal energy then they can go in any so we have three combinations for parallel spin similarly we have ms as one and ml as minus one okay and now what we'll do is the value for ml okay ml what is the value of ml plus 1, 0 and minus 1. Okay, these are the three values. So, uh, when we take the value of ml as 1, then what happens? We have p, okay. This is the hierarchy, okay. 0, 1, 2, 3. This is s, p, d. Okay. So, for 1, we have p right so to find the ground state term symbol we have p and s is one s the value of s that we found was one right so when we need to find the value of j what will happen j is equal to l plus s okay to l minus s so what is the value of maximum value of L here? It is 1. Okay. So it will be 
वन प्लस वन मैग्नीट्यूड टू वन माइनस वन वॉट विल दैट बी टू ओके वन एंड जीरो तो वी हैव थ्री वैल्यूज राइट वी हैव थ्री वैल्यूज फॉर जे तो वॉट विल बी द टर्म सिंबल थ्री पी जीरो वन एंड टू दीज आर द डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन राइट सो टू फाइंड द ग्राउंड शेट अमंग दीज विच वन शुड बी देर दैट ऑल्सो हैज अ डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ लिफ दैट विल डिस्कस लेटर सो फॉर नाउ द टर्म सिंबल्स फॉर दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज थ्री पी जीरो वन एंड टू Okay, so we keep this. Now, uh, in the next uh, slide, we will consider for opposite spin, right? So the first combination of whether we have two electrons having the same spin, and then when we can have a combination like this one. Okay, these are placed separately, right? One is up spin and another is down spin. The third combination that we can have is whether they are together, okay, in the same orbital. So let us start filling them. Okay, first we'll see the up spin and down spin. We cannot keep this because we have already considered. So for opposite spin, what can be the possible combinations? We'll just uh, put one electron here and one electron there. okay so what will the will be the value of s okay so one is up spin one is down spin so plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so we have zero okay we have let me put this in red zero okay and then when we find ml what will be the value 1 into 1 is 1 One into one equal to one plus one into zero equals to zero. So we'll have one here. All right. Now let us fill other electrons. What will be the next combination? We'll just put one here, and the second electron we'll put it on the top. So on this box is nothing but a combination. Okay, what kind of combination you can put? Okay, so this is done. What is the other combination? We can do this, right? Is that okay? So seems fair. Even if you just reverse this, it won't matter much because the value of MS and ML will remain unchanged. So let us find what will be the value of MS. So this again, opposite spin plus one minus plus one by two minus one by two is zero. Okay, for this one again zero. Now when we calculate the value of M L, one into one is one. Okay, one into one plus one into minus one, we have zero. And in the third column, what will be the answer? One into zero, okay. This electron, and then this. What will be the value for this? One into minus one. Will be the answer. It will be minus one. All right. Now we are done with the opposite spin, singly occupied electrons. Now we will consider this double, this pair, okay? Double electrons. Up and down. So first, I'll put this in the first box. Okay, this can happen, or we can keep this in zero, the zero row, or we can do like this. Okay, right. So let us now calculate MS and ML. What will be the value of MS here? Again, plus one by two. Minus one by two will be zero. Here also zero. So this whole row becomes zero. Okay, because 
there are two electrons and they cancel out each other let us see what is the value of ml in this case okay so what will happen these are two electrons two into one is equal to two right so again two electrons two into zero okay two into two into zero what will happen zero and then again two into minus one will be minus two so we have two zero and minus two all right so these are the values of ml let us now find the symbols okay for these formations let's uh, start in the previous discussion we have the value of ml as plus 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 you don't take the negative values it starts with s right you understand so the highest value for ml is 2 okay the term here is d first we'll consider for this okay for 0 we take s for 1 we take p for 2 we take d right this is the staircase we discussed in the previous one so the term is spectral term known as the spectral term is equal to p right now the value of s remains the same zero okay so for finding j or j what will happen for j j is l plus s to l minus s so what will happen 2 plus 0 magnitude 2 minus 0 right so we have 2 okay 2 only 2 so 2 plus 0 or 2 minus 0 we have the same thing 2 so we don't, don't need to worry so much okay so what will happen we need to find the spin multiplicity okay let me take the green one 2s plus 1 is 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1 so the term symbol will become 1 l is d j is 2 1 d 2 okay so uh, this is the form what is the form of this thing do you know do you remember you haven't you have to watch the video on term symbol okay how you find the term symbol so this is 2s plus 1 l g okay this is what we are trying to find is that all right now we move to the next okay so we considered 2 ml so now we will consider ml equals to 0 0 is also there right so it will also constitute a term so what will the term for 0 0 for 0 we have s okay for 0 we have s this is the term okay this is not spin and the value of ms is again 0 so 2s plus 1 will be equal to 1 and for finding j what will be the value of j j will be equal to 0 plus 1 sorry 0 plus 0 2 0 minus 0 okay makes no sense but we are still writing okay for the sake of uh, recalling so the term will become 2s plus 1 lj so what is 2s plus 1 is 1 what is L? It is S. What is J? It is 0. So this is also a term.
so what are the terms that we find after this discussion okay just let us just write down the terms that we found out from all this discussion right i'll go to the previous slide we have this term in red and let us take that this term 3p012 okay so i'll put p p 210 okay let us just write like like that then we have 1d 2 right i go here 1d2 and then we have 1s0 again 1s0 so these are the terms that we found from the pigeonhole diagram so stay tuned in the next video lecture we'll arrange them and find the ground state for this p2 configuration using answer thank you for watching